Welcome back. TSMC now securing $6.6 billion from President Biden's CHIPS Act to build factories in Arizona. But how will funding the Taiwan-based firm impact American chip makers? Christina parts Nevelis breaks that down for us in today's Tech Check. Hey, Christina. Hi, Leslie. Well, some of the most advanced chips in the world will be made in America, but by a foreign firm, the largest chip manufacturer in the world, like you mentioned, not only getting $6.6 .6 billion in subsidies, but also $5 billion in low-cost government loans. TSMC are now upping its promise to spend $65 billion with the addition of a third plant in Arizona by 2030. The second and third plant will make some of the most advanced chip te technology in the world. So that's called two nanometers, which really determines how many mini uh, semiconductors or transistors can be packed on each small slice of silicon to perform various calculations. All of this sounds like great news, and it is, but some promises have already been broken. TSMC pushed back initial production at its first factory in 2025, saying local workers in the United States lacked expertise with advanced equipment like, uh, you know, EUV from ASML. And then in January, TSMC said the second plant would not meet its original 2026 schedule as well. A senior commerce official told me that they still expect Taiwanese workers, even after this CHIPS Act funding, to come to the United States to work on these plants. Secretary Gina Raimondo was on CNBC this morning and weighed in on those delays. Obviously, it's, it's, you have to assume there'll be some challenges. That being said, these projects are on time. Uh, we expect them to be producing at scale two and three nanometer in the coming years. Another chip plant, though, by TSMC does pose a threat to Intel, which is the biggest recipient so far of Chips Act funding. You can see that on the bottom right hand of your screen. Just last week, Intel announcing its manufacturing plant or its foundry business lost $7 billion in 2023, and they expect the losses to peak this year. So that's why you saw Intel shares fall roughly about 12 percent, having their worst weekly drop since 2020 just last week. But Intel also plans to build these advanced chips on U.S. soil. But the big problem is it going to be about following through on promises and their timelines. Both companies, TSMC and Intel, have already announced delays.